FTC has today one of the largest uh, online long distance learning tools in the country and in the world with 45,000 students. The university is formed by several units with more than 20,000 students. Hello all and hello UMKC. Today we are here at Faculdade de Ciências e Tecnologia uh, and we are visiting the labs here at FTC and we are about to give a tour of these labs and other parts of the university. So follow me now as we go inside the histology lab. We are now inside the histology lab here at FTC and I have here these Beautiful students, you know, they are members of the first year biomedicine course. Biomedicine is a quickly evolving uh, profession that biomedical uh, professionals, they can participate in both clinical side and also on research. I'd like now for the students. Pessoal, vira agora para a câmera e diga alô para todo mundo lá nos Estados Unidos. Thank you very much. I am moving along here and I am about to introduce three very important people here, my most important collaborators in Brazil. Here, Professor Luciene Lessa, she is the supervisor and she is also the course director for the whole biomedical biomedicine course here. Besides her is Edjaci Lopes, she is an assistant professor and she is a preceptor uh, in the clinicals for the biomedicine students. And here, Luis Paulino, he is a professor and a doctor, he is a researcher in genetics and molecular biology, and my colleague here leading one of the labs that we are establishing here. Essa parceria será de grande importância para a FTC como um todo, sobretudo para os cursos da área de saúde e o curso de biomedicina. Esse que tem como principal atuação, possibilidade de atuação, a pesquisa científica. Estamos muito contentes com esta parceria. We are here at FTC and right now we are showing to all of you that there is a natural system for capture of light and also the wind and the breeze. So it's a socially responsible uh, university. Only the, the rooms, the classrooms and the labs are air conditioned, you know, prepared. So it's very interesting. We continue our tour here with the students and we are now going into the chemical manipulation lab. It's very interesting uh, to know as a knowledge that the students at uh, FTC, they learn to manipulate chemically. So this is the lab where they do this. Now we are in the anatomy lab, so a lot of health related courses bring their students here. This first lab, as you can see, these are the models. So the students first, they learn on models, but then they go into these additional rooms where they learn on cadavers and they actually learn how to dissect. Because of ethical reasons, we are not going to show the cadavers, we are not going to show the bodies. lab. So the students in the dentistry school, they learn, they practice here, but building on the topic of social responsibility, about 6,000 people from this, the district of Peace, Bairro da Paz, come here every year, uh, every month actually, 
for a free clinic and free clinic uh, and free uh, screening and also anything that they need that it's tooth health related. We are here now with Professor Jimi Hendrix Souza and the nurse technician Eliane Couto. This is of course of great interest for the nursing school as we are trying to forge a new collaboration also not just with biomedicine but also with the nursing school here. So Professor Jimmy, uh, he is actually the director for the nursing school here. In this place here that we are, there are different nine uh, rooms for attending to the patients that uh, come here. And also here these students can come to learn the nursing skills. Uh, here we have one room and you can see there, you know, the setup for the students to learn. And later we are going to show a picture of the room where it's dedicated for women's health. We are here now in the physical uh, therapy clinic and I have besides me my colleague here, Professor Jean Brum. Uh, he's a professor here at the clinic. This clinic is where the physical therapy students receive their training in physical therapy sciences. And as we can see here, there is one patient there, an athlete patient of the school receiving treatment. Those are students that are going to be graduating this year. To our right here, there is another series of patients that are receiving treatment. And in line with the social responsibility issue, of FTC, this clinic treats 1,000 patients per month for free. It's still in the physical therapy clinic, just showing that we have this beautiful hydrotherapy uh, massage area here for the patients to receive treatment. We are now at the square of the fountain, or fountain square at FTC. There are many of these places throughout the university. We are at one of the best places at FTC. This is the food court. It's wonderful people. There are nine restaurants here and it's just wonderful. And behind me, you can also see that there are all the musical instruments. So there is always a band at the peak times here. So the students, they have food and music at the same time. We came here to this room to remind us why we are doing research and it's for the patients. So in this room we have the neurological clinic of the physical therapy uh, department here and the school and we have there a prof uh, the professor and the student helping the patient that is receiving the treatment for neurological disorders. <laughs> 